In 1996, Necmettin Erbakan was elected as the Prime Minister of Turkey. However, he only served eight months as Prime Minister and was forced to step down because of his stances against America, Israel, the European Union and NATO. Because he stood up to Western powers, he was forcibly removed from power by the military and was banned from participating in politics. In 1948, Arba Khan received a PhD in mechanical engineering and had a vision to help Turkey's industries compete with the West. Arba Khan was the founder of the Gumus Motor Domestic Company and he planned to produce Turkey's first domestic car. However, the Turkish government did not allow this car to be produced and stopped production due to pressure from the European Union. In 1969, Nejmetan Arbakan was elected president of the Union of Chambers of Commerce and Industry. Arbakan was the voice of the small businessmen in Turkey and criticized the government for being subservient to big corporations and foreign capital. Arbakan attacked the government's economic policies, which he stated had made Turkey into an open market for Europe and America. In 1972, Erbakan established his own political party. Erbakan attacked corrupt government officials in his speeches and he promised to end corruption. He stated that the Turkish state is nothing more than an imitator of the West that is more eager to serve the interests of the Europeans and the United States than that of Turkey or of any other Muslim country. However, in 1980, Erbakan's party was shut down by the government. In 1983, after gaining further support from the people, Erbakan created a new political party known as the Welfare Party. In 1996, Erbakan was elected as the Prime Minister of Turkey as he was able to gain the support of the oppressed and marginalized people of Turkish society. Erbakan promised to abolish interest rates and unjust taxes. Erbakan also promised to change Turkey's foreign policy and help oppress people all around the world, such as the Muslims who were being massacred in Palestine and Bosnia. During Erbakan's reign as Prime Minister, Turkey witnessed rapid economic development. Erbakan appealed to the urban segments of the population that were in need of an identity and economic security. Erbakan was also able to gain the support of many Kurds who felt marginalized by the previous regimes. Erbakan even held meetings with Kurdish groups such as the PKK in order to reconcile problems between Turks and Kurds. Erbakan also gained the support of many religious leaders in Turkey such as Sheikh Mehmed Zahid Koktu, who applauded him for his stance against America and Israel. Erbakan called on Turkey's withdrawal from NATO and proposed a similar security pact with Muslim countries. He also proposed an Islamic monetary union and an Islamic currency to replace the US dollar in transactions among Muslim countries. He would rather trade with developing Asian and African countries than with the European Union and America.
During his time as Prime Minister, Arba Khan established an organization known as the Developing Eight, which aimed to increase Turkey's economic relations with Islamic countries. The D8 consisted of eight prominent Muslim countries, which included Turkey, Indonesia, Malaysia, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Iran, Egypt, and Nigeria. Although Arba Khan was able to implement many reforms, many of his policies could not be implemented, as the American-backed Turkish establishment would not allow it. Furthermore, his anti-American speeches provoked the pro-American puppets in the Turkish government, and the elite figures in the government realized that Erbakan had to be removed from power. In 1997, the Turkish military forced Erbakan to step down. Erbakan resigned in July 1997 and was banned from politics by the Constitutional Court, only to be followed by the shutdown of his party.